back to 2013, we uh, kind of did a big redesign on the switchblade, went to a, a, a more aggressive, uh, wider wingtip outline. Um, we did some profile refinements. We wanted to put a real, uh, kind of a little boost of uh, high performance feeling into this kite. And um, I think it was a little bit much actually at the time. Um, because the one thing that, this, that the, the switchblade has is this super predictable park and ride uh, feeling that, that pretty much anybody can ride. Um, and so at that point, I believe the, the, that the, the, that kite was one of my favorites to, to, to ride personally, but I think that we, we maybe lost a little bit of that, that super park and ride feeling. So back in 2014, we, we re-broadened the kite, we, we did more refinements to the profiles, and we, we got back that super powerful, predictable pull that the Switchblade is famous for. Um, but we're able to maintain the ability to stay light and steering and, and fast, and so we kind of got the best of both worlds. Um, in 2015, we wanted to go yet another step further um, trying to get it to be a little less, uh, or let's say, easier to ride in, in lighter winds when you're putting more demand on the kite, less sensitive to stalling, um, maintaining this super powerful, predictable pull, but uh, with a nice, easy, light steering. One thing we did focus on is getting a little lighter bar pressure and a little, little better steering, and, and the ability for the kite to climb uphill quicker, meaning that if you do uh, oversheat the kite for some reason, you're a beginner and you're choking up on it, the, the recovery time is quicker. You unsheet and the, and the kite responds quicker and it flies back to 12 o'clock really easily. So, um, the evolution continues. I think it's, 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 a, it's a nice improvement over what we had last year. Um, and I think that, that the people will be very happy with the way it feels. There's one thing that's been specific to the switchblade since the very beginning, and it's the type of aerodynamic profile that I choose to use in this kite. Uh, in comparison to a lot of the other kites that we make, and also our competitors' kites, this, this switchblade has a very full draft forward, really rounded entry profile which is very insensitive to attack angle change. So the, the profile is, is working properly at a really wide range of attack, attack angles. So it flies good deep power and it flies good power in. So it makes it, so it's not very specific to where the rider has to, to keep the kind of trim. Okay, so um, this profile is, is perfect for park and ride. Park and ride basically, the kite has lots of power. You dive it once, you're up on a plane, and then you just shoot it and go, you know? It requires very little movement of the kite unless you're super underpowered. I think that, yeah, with the switchblade, it's a nice foundation to to do a little bit of everything. You can you can unhook with it. Look look at all the years that we've, we've promoted it for wake style riding. It's a great wake style kite. Um, but it's, it's fast and nimble, uh, nimble enough to be good in surf. Um, it's surprisingly good on foil boards. Uh, a lot of guys race on them up until you know, recently, um, but at this point it's not registered, so it's not a full-on racing kite. But it's powerful, the big sizes get you going in light winds, and you can do just about anything with it.